Okay, so here's some quick notes on the method that I use when I'm constructing my robots. I tend to use either round or square section brass tubing as it's very, very easy to solder to, but you will need a solder with a good flux. Um, you tend to need a soldering iron of about 45 watts or more, but if you want to use a soldering iron with less power than that, you'll probably have to preheat the brass strips with a, um, a hot air blower or something like that. Right, firstly, I tend to solder one side and then I tend to tin the other side as well and then I bring them together like this. And once once the two sides have been brought together, then, I, then I'll run the, run the soldering iron over the top and then merge them together. All right, once I've constructed one side, I will then move on to the opposite side and construct that in a similar kind of way using a right angled plate, which has a very, very true right angle on there like so and i would normally leave a one millimeter gap at the top there so i can solder it later on uh, once that part of the construction's done um, i tend to use a spacer of some sort like these ones here are 66 millimeters which are governed by the size of the servo that's going in there so i will put these together like this and pretend they've all been soldered together and then once these two sides once these two sides have done then I will slide in the fourth section just like this and solder those two as well. Once that's been done, I'll then move on to the opposite side like this has already been done and I will create a box like structure, okay, with the space with, with other brass sections in between. And uh, this is the basis for pretty much all of the, um, all of the construction that I do and uh, it provides a nice lightweight structure and the, the strength of the structure is in the design rather than in the materials itself. So that's it for now.